Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about subplot in Python. That means how to draw subplots in Python programming. What is the main purpose of subplot function? By using subplot function, we can draw multiple number of plots within a single figure. The subplot function can take three parameters. The first parameter represents the row number. The second parameter represents the column number. The third parameter represents the plot number. To draw the subplot in Python, we have to use matplotlib library. In that library, we can use one module, that module called pyplot. By using that module, we can draw the subplot in Python. First of all, we have to import the pyplot module in matplotlib library. Import matplotlib dot pyplot. By using this statement, we have to import the pyplot module in matplotlib library. Now, we are providing the alternative name for matplotlib.pyplot is plt. plt is the alternative name for matplotlib.pyplot. Whenever matplotlib.pyplot is required, simply we have to use the alternative name plt instead of matplotlib.pyplot. Next, in the same way, numpy library is also imported. Import numpy as np. We are importing the numpy library. At the same time, we are providing the alternative name for numpy library as np. Next, we have to write the plots. Plot 1. Okay. x is equal to np dot array. Here we have to give 0 comma 1 comma 2 comma 3. So on the x axis we are giving the values 0, 1, 2, 3. Next on y axis y is equal to np dot array. Here I am giving the values 3, 8, 1, 10. After that we have to use the subplot function. Okay. PLT dot subplot here within a single row two column wise plot number one can be displayed. Here how many number of rows are there? The first argument in subplot function is represents the row number. Within a single row, two col in the two columns, we are plot the two plots. Here this is plot 1. Next, we have to give the plot 2. Next one, plt dot plot x comma y. x comma y. Okay. So, this is the plot 1. Next. Now, we have to write the plot 2. 
plot 2. Now x is equal to np dot array. Here we have to give the values 0, 1, 2, 3. Next, on the y axis, we are giving the values y is equal to np dot array. We are giving the values are 10, 20, 30, 40. Next, we have to use subplot function plt subplot within the single row in the two columns plot number 2 is displayed. Okay. Next one. plt dot plot x comma y. After that, finally we have to write plt dot show. So, see this one. Now, we have to execute by click on this button. This is executed as it is executed. See this one. This is a single row. Within the single row, two columns. This is the first column. This is the second column. This is the plot 1 and this is a plot 2. Here, within the single row, in the second column, we have to display the plot 2. Within the single row, in the first column, we have to display the plot 1. Okay. Next. Suppose we have to draw 4 plots within a single figure. Here we have to draw only 2 plots within a single figure. Okay. Here the third argument represents the plot number. Okay. So, this is plot 1. So, that we have to write plot 1. So, this is plot 2. Here, we have to write plot 2. Okay. How many number of columns are there? Here, this is the first column. This is the second column. So, here we have to write the column number. The second argument in subplot function represents the how many number of columns are there. Here, how many number of columns are there? This is the first column. This is the second column. So, two columns are there. So, next one. Within a single row, two columns are there. Within the two columns, plot 1 is displayed in the first column. Plot 2 displayed in the second column. Okay. Next, we have to give the title for this uh, subplot for that purpose. We have to write plt dot sup title. This function is used for giving the title for the subplot. Subplot. So the title name is subplot function. So, click on this button. See this one. This is the title for the entire figure. Okay. For individual figure, we are also giving the title. There is no problem at all. So, for individual figure, we are giving the title as in this way. PLT dot title. 
here I am giving plot 1 plot 1 plot 1 next here I am giving the title as plt dot title this is plot 2 plot 2 ok now execute it yes so this is the plot 1 and this is the plot 2 the total entire subplot title is subplot function ok now how to draw four plots within a single figure ok now we have to copy this code See here we have to paste it next. Now I am writing two more plots. Plot three. X is equal to NP dot array. I am giving the values 0, 1, 2, 3. Next one. Y is equal to NP dot array. I am giving the values as 10, 15, 8, 20. Next one, plt dot subplot I am giving the values as here I am changing I am taking two rows two columns two rows, two columns now, I am giving plot number 3. Next one, PLT. Next one, PLT dot plot x comma y. Now, we are giving the title, title as plt dot title this is plot number 3 plot 3 next next I am taking fourth plot plot 4 x is equal to np dot array I am giving the values 0, 1, 2, 3. Next, y is equal to np dot array. I am giving the values on the y axis as 5, 10, 15, 20. Next, plt dot title is plot 4 plot 4 next one plt dot subplot I am taking two rows two columns this is the plot 4 next one plt dot plot x comma y next for four plots are completed 
for the entire plots we have for the entire four plots we have to give a single title by using sup title sup title function is used for giving the title for entire subplot okay next show function is used for displaying all the four plots within the two rows and two columns for that purpose we have to use show function now we have to execute it by click on this button the code is executed see this one for this four plots within a single figure the title is subplot function and here this is a plot 1 and this is a plot 2 and uh, plot 3 after subplot we have to write the title now we are executed see this one this is plot 1 and this is plot 2 and this is plot 3 and this is plot 4 how many number of plots are there four plots are there so this is plot 1 code and this is plot 2 code this is plot 3 code and this is plot 4 code for four plots the common code is these two lines plt dot subtitle plt dot show these two lines belongs to four plots okay now observe this one for plot 1 the function subplot can take three parameters so four plots can be displayed in two rows for that purpose i am taking row value as 2 next four plots can be displayed in two columns for that purpose i am taking column number as 2 next here this is plot number first to two first to two parameters are same for four plots see this one in the plot number 2 also first two parameters are 2 and 2 for plot number 3 the first two parameters are 2 and 2 for plot number 4 the first two parameters are 2 and 2 because four plots can be displayed in two rows and two columns so this is a row 1 and this is row 2 this is column 1 and this is column 2 okay next one the third parameter represents the plot number so here this is plot 1 so that i am giving the plot number value as 1 so this is plot 2 i am giving the plot number value as 2 this is plot 3 i am giving the plot number value is 3 this is plot 4 i am giving the plot number value as 4 okay so subplot function is used for drawing multiple plots within a single figure subplot function can take three parameters the first parameter represents the row number the second parameter represents the column number the third parameter represents the plot number okay for entire four plots we have to give the title by using sup title function the sup title function is used for giving the name for entire subplot okay this is entire subplot for the entire subplot we are giving the title as subplot function by using sup title function next one show function is used for displaying the entire subplot okay now we are changing the
color also so here i am giving the color is color is equal to blue color is equal to blue next one here color is equal to red next here color is equal to hot pink color is equal to hot pink next one here for fourth plot i am giving color is equal to black so each and every plot can be displayed with a separate color see this one s so first plot can be displayed with blue color see this one this is blue color the second plot can be displayed with red color so this is a red color the line can be colored by using the whatever the color we are given so by that color this line is displayed in the subplot next one plot 3 we are giving hot pink color next for plot 4 i am giving black color okay so here i am giving 8 we are changing some values here i am giving some 2 now see this one the graphs are changing s yes. so this is the description about subplot function how to draw the subplot within a single figure so subplots are nothing but we have to draw multiple plots within a single figure for that purpose we have to use subplot function it can take three parameters the first parameter represents the row number the second parameter represents the column number the third parameter represents the plot number okay so the first two parameters are same for two four plots can be displayed in two columns in two rows at that time so the first two parameters are same okay so in this way we have to draw the multiple plots within a single figure now i am changing this one small changes i am control c control v sorry control c here control v okay now i am changing here row number is 4 number of rows is equal to 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 4 columns value i am giving only 1 i am giving only 1 what now how the subplot function can be displayed so how many number of rows are there four rows are there how many number of columns are there one column is there within one column four plots are displayed in four rows so see this one by executing this code see this one 
plot 1, plot 2, plot 3, plot 4. Okay, how many number of rows are there? This is the first row, this is the second row, this is the third row and this is the fourth row. Within the four rows, within a single column, four plots are displayed. Okay, this is another way. Okay, by our convenience, we have to draw the plots in a single subplot by changing the row number and column number. Okay, so here the four plots can be displayed in two rows and two columns. Here the four plots can be displayed in four rows within a single column. Okay, so we have to change the number of rows and the number of columns. Okay, based on our convenience. So, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. If you really like my sessions, please forward my sessions to your friends and classmates. If you really like this video, please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel, Dibbela Srinivasara. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will clarify your doubts. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video. Please watch the previous videos. How to draw the pie chart in Python. How to draw the line chart in Python. Now in this video, how to draw subplot in Python. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video.